Hello, welcome to WinDev. So another one. We have lesson number four. Lesson number four is control flow in JavaScript. And this is the lesson outline. Okay, we're gonna talk about introduction to control flow, conditional statements, if, else, if, and else, and switched statements, loops for a while and do well. And then finally, we're gonna have a hands-on coding examples. And then at the end, I will send you guys a link to do some tests, you know, to secure your learnings, whatever that is. And I'm seeing that's helpful. If you guys think that's helpful, comment down below, subscribe, and share it to your friends, you know. I'm trying to help you guys on how to start from beginning to the end. Okay, and the end of the, the lessons or whatever, we're gonna have an app that we're gonna do every single every single month, okay? We're gonna do a little app or applications, whatever, okay? Now let's get started to the introduction to control flow. Okay, let's talk about that. Go to my main JS, and these are the last things we did. Now let me, okay, number one, introduction to control flow okay let's get an introduction so control flow so control flow it makes code to execute in order okay and then it, it helps like the if statements and loops help make the program you know more dynamic okay we want to do that and that's the introduction to the control flow flow and we have many things, right? Like conditional statements, and then multiple conditions, right? And then switch statements, and loops, and then, um, yeah, that's about it. And we're gonna talk about each one in detail. All right, let's start off with, oh, yeah, we got the control flow, which, so we're gonna say control flow execute right uh, code in order and make the program more dynamic. It's the introduction. All right. And let's move on to number two. Number two, we have a conditional statement. Statements. We got if, if, else, if, and else. Okay. Now we're going to go through this in details. So we're going to write the syntax for it. You guys know conditional statements goes like this if condition right and something should run here if it's true right if true okay and then else if condition right we're gonna say another condition run something else right run something else if true here right and then else uh, run this if none of the condition met right meaning not true so these are the basic syntax okay now let's go ahead and go with one example here. I want you guys to see this and figure it out, okay? Let age equals 20. And we're gonna say if age greater than equals to 18, what are we gonna say? 
if they're older than 18, what are they, right? Console.log. You are an adult, right? And then else, I'm going to say console.log. You are a minor. That's correct, right? There we go. Condition is not defined. Yes, it's not defined because we have nothing. Okay, this is just the basic syntax. Okay, comment that out. And because the age is greater than equals to 18, right? So it's doing that. We can put like 18 and still going to say adult because this condition is true. Or we'll go 17. You are a minor or 17.8. You are a minor because you're less than 18. There we go. So that's okay. That's one example. And we're going to go with multiple conditions using else if. Okay. Now we're going to, we're going to do another one, like a test. Okay. Let score equals 90. Okay, that's the test score. If if score is greater or equal to to ninety, what do we want to say? If it's more than that, you have an A, right? Console log A grade A, whatever A, and then else. If score greater than equals to 80, what do you have? Console.log grade B. And then else if, see we have multiple one, is greater than equal to 70, So the log grade C, and then we can just have the else anything below than that. We're gonna say console the log grade F. So based off of this, before I run this, look at the the variable, the value. And the condition, where do you think this is going to output? Pause for a little bit and let's see. All right, you all ready? Let's go ahead and run it. We got grade A. Okay, what if I do this? What do you think is going to happen? All right. You're right, F, right? What if I do 81? What do you think is going to happen here? Ready? B, right? It's checking. Based off the condition, this one is true. Anything that's greater or equal to 80, it's gonna run it. So that's one example. Pretty nice, huh? Now we're gonna go to another one. This is switch statements, okay? We're gonna do switch statements. Y'all gonna see the differences here soon. Okay. Switch statements, it's more clean, right? And readable code. If you have like multiple specific values to check, just like the score thing right here. Okay, we're gonna use the same thing. We're gonna have let score equals 80, okay? And we're gonna use switch statements now. Now you're gonna see the differences, okay? Let's do a switch. And uh, the only thing we care about is this variable, right? To check the condition. This thing is the only thing that matters. So we don't even have to check it anymore. 
right so we're gonna check case case um, score Uh, wait let's see case score greater than equals to 80 we're gonna say um well scratch that okay this is not a good idea let's just do this let we're gonna do days now day equals one okay let we're gonna day name okay we're just gonna initialize the declare the variable and you switch day and do case zero okay and day name is equal to Sunday okay and then we have a break because if you don't have a break it will never get out of this okay in the case one day name equals Sunday oh no Monday right and then break and then on and on and I want you guys to do the rest of the stuff sorry from Sunday to uh, Saturday right and then default it's gonna be day name invalid day okay we're gonna go a step further now we're gonna do console log day name there we go Monday right day name Monday okay perfect now we're gonna go to number four talk about loops loops we have four while and do while Let's see the difference. Do while. See the differences between these. For loop is you know used for like repetitions where like the number you know of iteration is known in advance, you know, like you know before it. That's why we use for loop. Let's see. For let i equals zero i is less than five see we know that it should be less than five and incremented every time and we're gonna console the log number and we're gonna do i Let's see, it's gonna go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See, less than 5 or less than equal to 5, it will include 5. So we know in advance that this will always be less than 5. Okay? Or we can console log anything, right? Hello. Right there, 5 times. Something like that. Okay? all right and then while loop is like it will run as long as the condition is true you know so let's see it's similar but let's see the differences let count equals zero while count is less than three so the condition now console 
log count count and then count and then let's see what we got if we don't increment it it will keep on going okay because it will always be zero because <laughs> we never do anything with it we gotta increment it right so plus plus that's what we're doing now yeah it's dead let's stop it and let's run it again yeah, it killed my my stuff yep it killed it yeah don't ever do that but Yeah, don't ever run it like that because it will kill your your browser. Okay, now we got zero, one, two. See? Because it's true, right? Zero is still less than less than three, and then it goes it goes like this. It's checking is zero less than three? Yes, and then console log it, and then moves to the next line. We add one to it now it becomes one is one still less than three yes council log it add it now it becomes two is two less than three yes then it output it and then e add three and then check is three less than three no so it stops it right there see at two all right that's how it works basically almost the same thing right the full loop but as the full loop still checking and they're almost the same they're doing the same thing right we initialize it we check and then we add and each time it repeats right the same thing now a do while loop a do while loop always like guarantees the code block runs at least once before checking the condition i don't know who uses this but it's kind of dumb right <laughs> why would it run without even checking the condition first so we do this do and then console dot log number and then number and then number minus minus while number greater than three okay now we go five four it doesn't check see it just counts to log this number first and then it decreases it so it's and then it check another round right so first off it started off with this number it counts to log it and then it subtracts it so it becomes four it's four greater than three yes it's true so it output the four but now it goes back again now the number becomes three it's checking that's why you don't see this anymore and it's checking no and it stops right there which is pretty dumb but i would have used that but these are the differences we have and now let's go ahead and do a hands-on coding exercise all right coding hands on exercise okay we want to check if even or odd right a number so we're gonna do a function check odd even and we're gonna name it and we're gonna accept a parameter 
and we're gonna now add if statement you can do switch or whatever but we're gonna do if statement num so modular to equals zero return you remember the return even else return odd so if you guys don't know what modular is this is like the remainder okay if the main remainder is zero and that means it's even okay modulo two so yeah look into more of these if you guys want and we're gonna call it function check and we're gonna put number seven what do you think guys think this would be it's obvious right it'd be odd but what if we do like something like that it's still odd would you be able to do this on top of your head no right i don't even know if it's odd it's pretty decent right two 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 even so that's perfect now we want to go ahead and try it i want you guys to try using the switch statements Okay, do this with switch statements and see what you guys can figure out. Do the same thing. You, I want you to return even or odd. Okay. And we got another one. It's going to be using loops. Okay. We're going to print out each element. Okay, let fruits apple. Be na na, and then cherry. So how do we output this one by one? What do you guys think we should do? We're gonna use the for loop. Okay, let i equals zero equals zero i less than fruits that length we're gonna get the length so that's three right right here we're gonna have three lengths okay that's how we get the index and then I three plus increase it so each time we're gonna go through this so it becomes an index right zero one two and then we're gonna console with our log fruits I'm gonna take the fruits and then one the index. Let's see. That's how we get it. Apple, banana, cherry. And now we're gonna do another hands-on. It's gonna be a password checker using while loop. Okay. So we're gonna do that password equals empty right wow password does not equals to javascript password assign it to prompt we're gonna prompt the user enter the password console log access granted and it's true okay and then we're gonna keep we're gonna keep saying hello or something like that and it's gonna keep prompting right because the condition doesn't meet yet and we're gonna do the right password now JavaScript. Bang, there we go. Console login. It's cool, huh? And that's it, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing and watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Now I will create you guys a problem to solve and share the link down below. Check it out and definitely take it and answer down in the comment below. 
So I know that y'all participating. All right. Take care and have a great, great day.